All right, so you're trying to build clientele in the shop and you don't know what to do. You know what I'm saying? If you're a brand new barber or you're a new barber or you just moved to a new shop and you need tips helping you build clientele, then guess what? We're going to help you out. Turn this down. Mic check one, two, one, two. What's good? What's good, YouTube? Y'all know what it is, man. Uh, 30 for 30 in this thing. Trying to shoot 30 videos in 30 days. Just left the gym. I uh, had to stop and get my kids some food. Uh, so we're on the way to the shop right now. Uh, it's supposed to snow today in Houston. It's supposed to be a freeze. Uh, I don't know if it's going to freeze or snow. You know what I'm saying? People, my kids, I just got home. My kids were like, Dad, is it snowing? Is it snowing? I'm like, nah, it's, it's raining, but it ain't snowing. But y'all know here, here in Houston, we, we rarely get snow. We get snow like once every four or five years, you know what I'm saying? So they're all excited about it, but I don't think it's gonna snow. Maybe I'm just being a hater, I don't know. But nonetheless, man, we're on the way to the shop. Uh, I was supposed to be getting a package today uh, from Fort Worth Barber Supply. Shout out to Fort Worth Barber Supply. Once again, if y'all wanna purchase any type of barber tools, any barber equipment, uh, fwbarbersupply.com use my discount code tank10 but I don't think I don't think I'm gonna get it in today I might be getting it in tomorrow so we're probably just gonna head to the shop cut some heads and then we're gonna see what the day brings us uh what we doing though uh, same thing yeah hi babe Man, I, I was thinking like eventually yeah I think I'm gonna check my hairstyle but I think to do it I'm gonna need to have like even hair on both sides okay so is there a way to still cut it but not like short as short on this side yeah like yeah try to keep them the same length yeah so you want basically want this to start kind of growing out yeah. also yeah. okay cool but still the mid fade still combing it over for now yeah because right uh, i'm gonna switch it but i don't know what i'm gonna switch it to yet all right are we gonna trim the top uh yeah a little bit trim, yeah. in the front all right sounds good
All right, so you're trying to build clientele in the shop and you don't know what to do. You know what I'm saying? If you're a brand new barber or you're a new barber or you just moved to a new shop and you need tips helping you build clientele, then guess what? We're going to help you out. One tip I always talk about is make sure that you're actually in the barbershop when the barbershop is open. If the shop hours are from 9 to 5, there is no reason why you should not be at the shop from 9 to 5. Now, I get it. You know, you want to have lunch. You may come in late. You may want to leave early, but don't do that. I know it's gonna be hard, but do not do that. Matter of fact, you should actually come into the shop an hour early and leave an hour later. That way, if any clients actually walk into the shop earlier, you can take care of them. If any walk-ins come in after work, you can take care of them. And I guarantee you, I see this happening all the time. As soon as you leave the shop to go get lunch or it's slow, you gonna go to the store, you gonna go home real quick. As soon as you leave the shop because it's slow, a walk-in is gonna come in. And if you're not at the shop and that walk-in comes in, guess what? They're gonna get a haircut with another barber or they're just gonna leave and find another barbershop. So how do you expect to build clientele if you're not even in the shop when the shop is supposed to be open? Make sure you're coming into the shop early, make sure you're staying in the barbershop all day, and then you're leaving after the shop closes. That way you can increase the chance of you turning them walk-ins into potential clients. Another easy way for you to build clientele is make sure you're wearing barber apparel everywhere you go. And I know you're thinking like, bro, how is that gonna help you build clientele? If you're at the gym and you're wearing a shirt that says you're a barber on, it's got your barbershop logo, you know, your personal barber logo, a shirt that says barber, talk to me if you need a haircut, stuff like that, people are gonna know you're a barber, right? It's gonna make it easier for them to, to create conversation with you, and it's gonna make it easier for you to actually approach people and talk to them about you being a barber. You know what I'm saying? There's been times where I've been at the gym working out and I had a shirt that says barber, and people come up to me, they're like, bro, oh, you're a barber? Where do you cut hair at? And I, I give them my information, I give them my website, give them a business card, something, and it's a good way for them to know how to book with me. You know what I'm saying? Now, they may not book with me, but at least now I gave them that option and they know that this guy who goes to the gym where they're at is a barber and if they need a haircut, they can come to me. And I know you're probably thinking like, man, where can I get this barber apparel from? There is a lot of different websites, a lot of uh, barber brands out there. My personal favorite ones are the local barber brand. I do got a discount code with local barber brand. You can't check them out. I'll make sure to put the link and the discount code down in the description but uh you know local barber brand faded culture blurred world there's just a bunch of different barber brands out there that sell barber apparel also if you ever hit up any of these expos and barber battles there's a lot of brands out there that sell barber merch so wear barber merch everywhere you go it's gonna make it a lot easier for you to talk to people and let them know that you're a barber that way they can possibly book with you in the future what we doing dog what we doing probably the mid drop, but probably gonna keep keep the top this time. Keep the top, just the mid drop. Yeah, I'm just blend this down a little bit. Yeah. Right, cool. All right.
I gave you the mirror, right? Or no? Oh, shit, my bad. I was looking over. My bad. <laughs> Look, dude. You good? Yeah. That's taken off like really last year. I think I've seen a clip of what you're talking about. All right, Vito. Appreciate it, man. Be safe. And then you obviously know that social media is a great way to build clientele. In today's day and age, man, social media is so big, it's easy to get clientele from social media. So if you have a social media page, whether it be Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, whatever it is, make sure you're posting on there. You know what I'm saying? Post your haircuts, post videos of you cutting hair, things like that. And then another big one I would highly suggest is make sure that your clients are posting your work also. So let's say you have your boy come in, you cut his hair, you know, you record the finished product with a phone or whatever, you make it look nice. Uh, make sure to tag him in that post and then just ask him like, hey bro, you mind sharing this on your story or sharing this on your page? That way all of his followers can also see your work. You know what I'm saying? So they may not need a barber right then and there, but let's say they're on Instagram scrolling and they see, oh boy post his hair cut and they see your name on there and they click it just to go see some of your work and now they know oh this dude's a barber i can possibly hit this guy up in case i ever need a haircut and then with today's day and age man y'all know social media is just so big the reach is just so it's, it's so big right now and you, you're getting a lot of views on social media so you want to make sure that you're capitalizing on that and using that that way you can further your barber career and then another tip is just be good at what you do. You know what I'm saying? Take some classes, brush up on your fading skills, make sure you're up to date with all the new techniques, all the new styles and such. That way you can do any haircut and you can give these clients exactly what they want. Cause nothing sucks more than getting clients in your chair and really not knowing how to do the haircut that they want. You know what I'm saying? If you can't give the client what they want, then chances are they ain't gonna come back to you. So make sure you, you're honing your skills as a barber, make sure you're practicing, you're, you're, you're doing what you have to do to make sure that you're good at your craft that way like i said when these clients do sit in your chair you can give the clients the haircut they want and they can come back to you all right guys so that's just a few things you can do to help build your clientele uh there's a bunch of other things we can probably talk about but if y'all want me to go in depth with some of these tips uh y'all make sure to drop that down in the comment section man you know your boy is doing 30 for 30 so we're just trying different styles of content hope you actually like this video right here some a little different but i feel that it's going to be really beneficial for the people who need it you know what i'm saying uh, i know i'm always doing tutorials and unboxing and stuff but like i said we're gonna try some different stuff here in the next 30 for 30 we're gonna see we're gonna see what happens you know what i'm saying but uh if y'all have any questions questions, comments, concerns, feel free to drop them down in the comments. I always try to respond to all my comments. So remember guys, any questions, comments, concerns, drop them down in the comment section. Let's get active. Let's talk about it. But with that being said, that's basically it for this video. If y'all like this video, please make sure to smash that like button. Also, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe one time for your boy. And that's basically it, YouTube. I appreciate y'all for watching. Until next time, let's go.